I'm always curious about how people got to where they are today, you know, how they did it, the process. So I thought, why can't I be the person people are curious about and, and want to know, you know how they did it? Which is why in this video, I'm gonna cure your curiosity and give you the timeline of, of my journey. Breaking down every property I ever purchased, the strategies I've used, the good, the bad, and the ugly for, for most of them, and share a secret or two of how I bought 15 properties in 11 months, won the 2015 Crew Magazine Investor of the Year Award, and went on to build a real estate portfolio that now has over 50 units, all in just four years. So stay tuned. Hey, it's Tyler, real estate investor, real estate educator, soon to be dad and playoff hockey addict right now. I'm glad you landed on my channel. Uh, I'm always sharing tips, strategies, just tons of info on how to start investing in real estate and all the benefits from investing in real estate. So subscribe to my channel and hit the bell to be notified when I do post a new video, which is usually each week or each or every other week. So my journey began at the end of 2013. This property right here was listed for $59,000. That was market value back then. Uh, I knew the seller and he told me he wouldn't take any less than 55 grand. At the time, I thought that was a bit too much and so did my buyers as I was a realtor at the time. They figured resale would be about 100 grand and that it needed $50,000 in work. So, you know, there was no room to, for profit. But I knew they were wrong, you know, too scared to take a risk. So I bought it for 48 grand. I put only 35 into it and I sold it for 130 grand. At the same time, I purchased this duplex here, which I, I still own today for only 87,000. My brother-in-law and dad helped me renovate it. And once we finished uh, and rented it, I refinanced the property, getting most of the funds I, I invested into the property back, which I then used to pay back my home equity line of credit, the, how I financed the property. So with the profits having made and my HELOC full again, I went on a shopping spree, I remember, buying these two properties here, which ended up flipping, and these three properties here, which I kept as rentals. This single family home for 65 grand, this duplex I bought for 57 grand, and this other single family home for 50 grand. Two of them required a lot of work, work so I renovated them and I refinanced them and I, and I still own them today. And the third actually didn't need any work. It was outdated, but livable. So I rented it for $800 a month right away and I, and I still own it. Only done minor repairs over the years and, and now I rent it for 1300 plus utilities. So having then pulled out my capital from, from those refinances I just mentioned, my journey then took me to this duplex, which I still own as well today, where again I used the buy, renovate, rent and refinance strategy, the BRRR strategy. Then a huge opportunity fell in, in my lap when a friend introduced me to these two properties here that could be bought with no money, which we did. We did that by using a vendor take back and a private lender. Uh, we renovated the top two floors of the big building and, and still own the property today. And the property next to it, the fourplex, this green one, which was part of the deal, we renovated and ended up selling it. And if you want to learn more about buying properties with, with no money, uh, I go into it in more detail in this video here. So just click on the button in the right corner of this video. So having now built up a small portfolio, most of my money was tied up. So to continue, I ended up partnering. I partnered with a few people here uh, on this eight unit property, which I still own today. And then I think uh, next was uh, around August, 2014. Uh, a couple of my refinances came through. So I, so I had some cash again and I bought this fourplex here, which uh, you know had been sitting on the market for a while. I renovated all, renovated all four units. I put four stair furnaces in each unit because they had electric baseboard heating, which is terrible for resale. Uh, I rented the property and then and then I sold it. And from there, I took some of the from some of my profits and I decided to partner with a contractor on this duplex here, which we again renovated both units and flipped for for a good profit as well. I also took some of the profits from uh, that fourplex um, in the meantime and purchased this small sm single family home here whom um and the owners were about to lose i remember to the, the property to the bank uh so i bought it for only thirty-eight thousand dollars, and it needed a lot of work uh, and i renovated that property and sold it as well and that was the 15th property i purchased in a matter of 11 months uh also in that same time frame 2014 
uh, I was a realtor, full-time realtor, and I had sold over $2 million in real estate. Um, so, put it this way, uh, 2014 was a blur. Uh, but all that hard work, it paid off. Uh, so, it took the next six months uh, to just get my bearings, to fill the bank accounts again, pay back my home equity line of credit, and then I went and picked up this single family home, and I flipped it, and I took those profits, and again, using up all my capital, I uh, purchased this bank sale, uh, which I still own today, and is probably my favorite property, and I also purchased this duplex here, which I still own as well. However, this is where the ugly came in. The things didn't really work out as planned. Both the properties needed major work, but not much cosmetic. And when I tried to refinance it, the appraiser didn't notice many of the updates. Even though I had put in you know, new roof, uh, updated electrical, added air conditions to the units, put in all new windows at both properties. But as a result of the appraiser giving me a terrible appraisal, uh, I couldn't refinance the properties to pull out my money. And so I had to hold them. And I didn't want to sell them either because I was trying to continue to build a portfolio. And if I would have sold them, I probably would have sold them at, the, at a loss. So that meant my money was tied up. And as a result, I, I sat idle for almost a year, saving until a, a realtor reached out to me with a property that hadn't hit the market yet, a duplex here, and I just couldn't resist. So I used my last bit of capital again to buy it as it was a turnkey property already being rented, was making money the, the day it took possession. So it was a no-brainer to me. And that brings me to present day today. Uh, cash poor, I like to say, but that's okay. My capital is invested, making amazing returns from the appreciation the Windsor market has enjoyed over the last two to three years, and, and my mortgages just being paid down from the tenants paying their rents, which have also increased uh, in this market as well, uh, You know, putting more cash in my pocket. So what have I learned? Don't wait for the perfect property. Don't wait for the perfect time. Don't wait until you have all the answers on how to invest in real estate or how to buy this property or how to do that. Just start investing in real estate today with what you know. Uh, you can and you will make it work. You're, you push yourself. You're going to learn as you go and you're going to be surprised at how you adapt. How do you respond to certain situations because you have a goal. Mine was to retire early. That's why I put myself through this. To quit working full-time, which I did last summer. I quit being a full-time realtor to focus on my real estate investing business and now my education uh, business. So if I can do it, no experience, no, no guidance, you know, just learning as I went, learning from coaches, learning from courses, you can do it too. So quit thinking, quit waiting, and just start doing. And just so I'm not leaving you empty-handed, my free real estate investing bootcamp is a great guide on how you too can start investing in real estate today. Start learning. That's, that's what I did. I, I, I got a good foundation from, from courses, from, from learning online, from books, from going to seminars, from conferences, and, from, and I just started buying real estate. So don't wait. This is a great guide. Just click on the link below to start building your own rental portfolio and reaching your own goals. I hope this helped. And if you like this video, I, I'd really appreciate it if you clicked on the thumbs up button below and also subscribe to my YouTube channel so you can continue learning more about investing in real estate. That's, that's why I'm here, to help you. Lastly, be sure, be sure to check out some of my most recent videos right here. There's one to my left and one to my right to learn more about how to invest in real estate. Thanks for your time and we're going to see you on the next one.